So we continue our series, doing our darndest to save you $100 a day in May. And this morning, we're going to give you some advice on how to save big on summer rentals, your summer vacation. Believe it or not, we can save you some money. Everybody's talking about the high gas prices and all that. And indeed, it's going to be more expensive to drive or to fly where you're going. But when you get there, we can save you a little money. Real estate contributor Barbara Corcoran is here to tell us uh, where you can find some great rentals. And the key here is... When Renting you a house. Don't not go going to a hotel. To a hotel. Right. You've got it. You could save between 10 and 50 percent on your vacation price just by making that one choice. You realize today that so many people are buying second homes, so it's flooded the markets with houses for rent. So you can save a lot of money, and you could even save more money if you're courageous enough to plan at the last moment. Plan at the last moment. <laughs> yeah, which scares a lot of people. Most people like to have their vacation put in their book way in advance. But if you have a small family, say two to five to six people, you can call two weeks in advance and right off the, the first minute of the conversation, you can negotiate 10% off the price. Because intuitively, my thought mm -hmm. is all the great houses are going to be gone. Yeah, but two weeks before I go. It's true, but you know what? You're thinking like a person who wants a house. Put yourself in the other spot of the person who owns a house. Right. They have this great place. They haven't rented it for two weeks from today. They're so happy when your call comes in. They're going to give you a discount right off the bat. All right. I, I can imagine, Barbara, that that's possible at the beach where there's a lot of houses along the shore or inland or whatever near the beach. Mm -hmm. But is it true in resorts as it's, well? It's true anywhere. In fact, with resorts today, they're even adding another discount to last-minute planning in the month of August because so many of the kids today go back to school on August 15th and some as early as August 1st so they they're giving steep discounts for the month of August and most people think if you have nothing by August my god I can't have any fun this right, year right. but it's exactly the opposite that's interesting so better to take a late vacation when the families have lots of kids back in school, you can save then, mm -hmm. and then save on a house as well. H how do I go about that? Do I, do I call local realtors in the areas that I want to go? That's one way to go, because local realtors always have the most listings, but there are a ton of websites out there that you could actually search by theme. Let's say you want a beach or you want to go golfing. You can plug in just that keyword, right. and right. you can find all the places available. It's so easy, thanks to the Internet. All right, and you mentioned if you have a family about two to six, is that the optimal? size? It really is because what happens is with the big homes, the large condominiums that accommodate seven, eight, nine, ten people, right. they always rent out early because people who are planning a family reunion or a big get-together always plan early. So that's not the market you're after. It's the it's the two to six size. The cozy size. Right, where the where the owners will go a little desperate and maybe two weeks before be able to exactly. give you a Exactly. Right, I know you've done some research on, on good places that yeah. you can go. I've got a lot of good ones, but my three favorites to talk okay. about right now is Tybee Island in Georgia, which is only 20 miles from Savannah. Most people just don't know where that is. What I love about this place, it's relaxed. You don't even have to pack your shoes. You can wear flip-flops to the restaurants. You can bring your dog along. It's also home to the biggest water pistol fight in the entire United States. Boy, there's a come on. Well, that, hey, no, <laughs> give it a chance, but could think of this. You get over a thousand people that come into the town for this fight. They bring out their little water pistols, their garden hoses, they even bring out those high pressure washers. So if you set foot in that town, you're going to get drowned <laughs> right away. Yeah, but it's playful. Don't even playful. Have to go to the beach. You can yeah, get wet right in town. But okay. can I tell you, you could, be, you could be a kid again. Who wouldn't want something like that? And there, you could get for $1,500 a week, you could get a two bedroom, beautiful cottage to rent. Okay, what else? Okay, the second is Jake's Resort in Jamaica. And if you're just that kind of personality, like my ex-husband who likes to lay back all the time, you're going to go here and you're going to relax. They have funky clusters of little houses all over the island. They have local people staying there, families on a budget. There are no TVs, no telephones, plenty of alligators for the kids to get close to, but they cage them off so they don't get hurt. <laughs> and here for $570 a week, you could rent a beautiful cottage with two bedrooms, a barbecue, a back deck in a terrace. Yeah, that's interesting. It, just to look at the comparison there, it's about half the price. Half the price. That you would spend for six And you're going to have a hotel. lot more fun. Where would you rather be? <laughs> All right. With me, by the way. Uh, well, I'm, I'm still in the water fight down on Tybee Island. But what, <laughs> okay. and what's your third? I know you have a third. Okay, the last is rent yourself a houseboat. Here's what's great about a houseboat. And the best lake in all of America actually is in Arkansas. It's Lake Washita is how you actually pronounce it. Oh, the spelling's a little wacky. It's the largest and cleanest lake in the area. It has 650,000 miles of forestry and waterfront, 200 islands to investigate. Your kids jump off the back of the 
the boat. They go fishing all day. You cook in your own kitchen, and you just coast around for the full week. And for a two-bedroom houseboat, it's only $1,500 a week, wow. and everything's included. And a resort in the area would be about 2300 bucks. So where would you rather be? Yeah, it's, you can save a good deal of money. I've, I've always believed in this, that you can do very well. The, the problem, well, one other problem, is you, normally you'll have a Saturday-to-Saturday -Saturday rental, right? Yeah, but that's something from the old days. Now, all these places will allow you to check in and check out whatever day of the week, as long as it's available. And again, the best availability is in the summer. One more thing that's negotiable. <laughs> and that's interesting about the end of August, because you're right, school years are starting much earlier. All right, yeah. Barbara Corcoran, thanks. Pleasure there are Robert. several websites that you can visit, as Barbara mentioned, to find the best deals on summer rentals, and you can find Barbara's favorites listed on our website, the GMA page of abcnews.com.